It seems that this is, I said the last day, like the, 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 the mind the chickens in the hen house and keep the door closed, don't let in the fox. You don't want to see any fox. You want to carry on your merry-go-round with the media, public service broadcasting, that will be holding to the government and certain committee members here as well. We hear them in the morning, noon and night on interviews, but anyone who had an alternative view was forgotten about. So it's not fair or right, and you're not able to control it. And you've no intention of trying to control it, because it suits the government narrative to let this cabal carry on. Okay, Deputy McGuire, give the Minister an opportunity to respond and we'll move on. Absolutely determined. Um, I think part of the problem here has been consecutive governments not grasping the nettle of putting um, RTE on a sustainable footing. But more, but, more, but more important, uh, it's not just about RTE, and as many members here have raised, it's about the wider broadcasting and print sector. And that's why we have to move quickly and, and make this decision. Take it. Uh, but key to that is, uh, if you're saying looking for the fox, is the expert advisory, ex expert advisory committees Keep reports. Up committees, yeah. No, but they're going to, we're going to have that report. Jobs for the bodies. And the same big corporate companies that give advice that's tainted and they're hired again. So the people can see through this. A blind person to see through what's going on. Cabal. Deputy, we have to get the recommendations of these two expert yeah. groups. Hey, you're the minister. See them implemented. You make decisions and let them deal with the fallout. Definitely. I risk my case, oh. Jim.